Hey, it's Clay Trader, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol ANY. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So while this here may look like a few weeks worth of time, it's actually just the past two days broken down into 30 minute time slices. I like to do this time frame, I think it does a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price. And then makes mapping out with levels of support and resistance a bit easier to see. I did this analysis yesterday, so that's where these red and green line annotations are coming from. Uh, but today, you know, don't no point in beating around the bush. Uh, pretty bearish day. The bears definitely had a good day. And this is where perspective comes into play. What do I mean by that? Well, if you're a day trader and you bought right there, or you bought right there, or you bought right there, and you wanted to sell within 10.2 seconds, then yeah, for you, the chart's looking pretty rough. Now, if you care about the grand scheme of things, the big overall picture, then yeah, today was pretty brutal. But the bulls do still have a chance to build a higher base and therefore continue to construct an overall uptrend. Now, if I sound crazy calling something bullish again, my guess would be, well, you probably just had a much different strategy and perspective going in. So I'm going to be talking about things from more of a bigger term perspe uh, perspective. Uh, so keep that in mind. So case in point, and let me first just do a little house cleaning here. Yes, these lines still pretend that I'm deleting, but from a presentation standpoint, I don't want lines everywhere that can cause clutter and confusion just want to keep this as clean as possible but as far as the big picture perspective in regards to like i was saying yeah the bulls do still have a chance to me that all revolves around that is that where it bounced today not quite 16 cents why is 16 cents important well let's say that the price actually comes down here bounces around and then heads back up again i fully realize if you're a day trader and you bought right there you couldn't care less about this i am referring to the grand scheme of things so if the price does that, what does that you know give you from the charting perspective? Well, that would give you a base of lows right here. Where is the previous base of lows? Well, the previous base was down there. Where is the previous base? Well, this big old section here. If you picture each of those as stair steps, then from the big picture perspective, yeah, the stair steps are still progressing in the upwards direction. So that's why even with a deep pullback, uh, you know, the bulls do still have a chance to to you know kind of get back on track and uh, you know uh, just get the uptrend going again. Uh, but you know, definitely 16 cents, in my opinion at least, is really that must hold level. Because if the price breaks below there, or worse, that separates to the downside, now the price is back in this area of the chart, and you know, nobody wants to see the price going back to where it all started. As far as levels of resistance, this just comes from a foundational principle in charting, which states when levels of support are broken and closed below, they tend to act as resistance. So 20 cents was a level of support uh, yesterday, but now that the price is broken below it, you can see it's actually already acted as uh, resistance a few times. So that'll be public enemy number one going into next week. So depending on your perspective, you know that's gonna depend on kind of how you're viewing this, but bulls do still have a chance to build that overall stair step. So we'll see if they can do that or not next week. One of the biggest questions I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together a free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then click on the image that is up on the screen right now and I will email you the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point and best part, it's completely free. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know if you have any questions.